Yeah, my name is Priscilla, and I'm one of the librarians here at the La Rue Public Library. Today, I have with me Chantel, Melinda. For today's silly program, the first part will be dancing into action songs. What are action songs? Anything that involves different movements such as dancing and jumping and twerking. But most importantly, we're completing our fitness for the day. Now, for the second part of the program, we'll be exercising our minds by me reading a book to you all. So if you're sitting down, get on up and bring home members at home with you to join us. It's going to be super fun. Before I forget, if you guys want us to give you guys a shout out, go ahead and send us your name on our Reader Book Facebook page. So let's go ahead and get started on this beautiful Friday. Yay! <laughs> All righty. So we're going to start with our arm circles. We're going to extend our arms. And we're going to start on my mark, three, two, and one. We're going to go forward. Remember, like I said on Monday, we have to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Arm circle. Here we go. There we go. So we're going to give a shout out to Bella. Thank you, Bella, for watching us this morning. Thank you for joining us. And also to Baby A, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're glad to have you guys here on a Friday. So on my mark, three, two, and one, we're gonna bring down our arms, and we're gonna we're gonna go next with our next side. And we're gonna take our, our head and we're gonna tilt it to the right, back to the middle, and then back to the left and to the middle. Ready? Let's start with the right. We're stretching those neck muscles so that we can get ready for our action song. Nice and slow, there's no rush. Don't forget to breathe in through your nose. Our last one, three, two, and one. Okay, for our next one, we're gonna do back turns. We're gonna take our right arm and bring it to the left. Come back to the middle, take our left arm, bring it to the right, and come back down. Ready? On my mark, three, two, and one. Take the right, the middle, to the left. To the right, I'm sorry, in the middle. a shout out to Miss Julie. Thank you so much for watching us this morning. We're so glad you're joining us this morning on a Friday. Okay, keep going. Nice and smooth, taking our time. No rush. Just a couple more before we go to our next one. Okay, left center. I'm excited, the ladies are excited. We hope you guys are too. If you're just joining us, go ahead. We're gonna do what we're doing our warm-up. We're warming up our bodies to get ready for our action song since today is Friday. Okay, come back to the middle. Couple more and we Our windmill. We're going to extend our arms and open up our legs just a little bit. And we're going to take our right hand and come back and try to touch our left foot. Come back up, take our left hand and try to touch our right foot. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down. 
So it's okay, guys. It's whatever you guys can reach up to. Ready? On my mark. Three, two, and one. Come down. Up. We want to stretch properly. We don't want to overdo it. We want to get those muscles nice and warmed up. Disconnected. To shake, it would be great. Bean bags or anything you might have in your hand. It's a really great song. Disconnected. Touch your ear and wiggle it. Touch your nose 
and wiggle it. Touch your head and wiggle, 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 wiggle it all around. Touch your shoulder and wiggle it. Touch your elbow and wiggle it. Touch your hand and wiggle, 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 wiggle it all around. Let's wiggle up high, wiggle down low, wiggle real fast, wiggle real slow, 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 slow. Touch your leg and wiggle it. Touch your knee and wiggle it. Touch your foot and wiggle, 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 wiggle it all. Up high, 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 go on and 
Jump to the front. Jump to the back. Wave your hands up high. Hop on one foot if you have the energy. You have the energy. You have the energy. Hop on one foot if you have the energy. You have the energy. Go on and jump to the left. Jump to the right. Wave your hands up high, 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 all the way to the sky. Very good, boys and girls. Very good. So before we continue with our next action song, we thought it'd be really nice for you to teach you guys a type of dance. So this week's type of dance is ballet. Anybody can do ballet, young, young at heart, but I will remind you guys is that we're not wearing the proper shoes, but we still thought it was a really neat idea to teach you guys. Ready guys? You ready ladies? Ready. Okay, so we're gonna be standing straight. We're gonna take our first position, which is we're gonna take our feet and make them like a V. So the camera can see my feet. If not, the ladies in the back. And we're having our hands right here in front of us like a beach ball. And in our second position, we're gonna extend our right leg and our right arm. And for a third, we're gonna bring up our right arm right here in front of us and our left arm, hand right here in front of our tummy and bring our foot in. It's gonna be right in front of that left foot. And then we're gonna go up for fourth, pointing out that nice, nice foot. And then we're gonna bring back that leg in, bring up our hand for fifth. We're gonna extend our arms and our right leg for sixth. We're gonna bring our right arm forward and our right leg back. And we're gonna to turn to my right. There you go, simple ballet technique. Let's try that one more time, ladies, ready? Yes. So, first position, we're gonna take our feet outward like a V. Second position, right here like a beach ball, extending our leg. Our third, right here, our foot is, our right foot is in front of our left foot, and our arms are right here. Our fourth, we're pointing our right foot. For our fifth, we're gonna bring up our arm, bring back that foot. And for our sixth, we're gonna extend our arms and our right leg. And then for seven, we're gonna bring our right arm forward and our right leg back, and we're gonna take a nice little turn to the left. Very good, boys and girls, very good. One more time, we loved it a lot, so we're, one more time, let's do it, okay, ready? So we're standing straight, first position out, a V. Second position, holding that beach ball. Third, fourth, fifth, extend for six, bring back for seven, and a nice little turn to the left. Very good, boys and girls, very good. So let's continue with our action song. You ladies ready? ready? Yes? Great, let's keep going. Shake, let's shake, let's everybody shake.
lost my balancer. Okay, a couple more seconds. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in through our nose. and girls that's our cool down stretch give me one second while i go get that book and chair so you guys get ready so take a seat and i'll be right back come on ladies thank you Okay, we are back with our second part of our FitLip program. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. So the book I brought with me today was Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat by James Dean. So let's see what he's going to do today. <clears throat> Here we go. Pete the Cat is excited. He's going scuba diving. Pete puts on a mask and fins. He has a tank full of air. He hopes to see lots of fish. If you are lucky, you might see a seahorse, says Captain Joe. A seahorse, says Pete. I can't wait. I've never seen one before. The ridges look like a horse's mane, says Captain Joe. Groovy, says Pete. Pete jumps into the water. Splash! Down, down, down he goes. Up, up, up go the bubbles. Pete looks for a seahorse. He sees a swordfish. Pete swims out of his way. Pete waves to a stingray. It has long, skinny tail. That's not a seahorse, thinks Pete. Pete looks high and low for the seahorse. Then he feels a tickle. Pete sees a school of fish. They all look alike except for one. It puffs up. It's a blowfish. It is not a seahorse. Where could one be? Pete looks in the rocks. What is that? It's an octopus. It has eight legs. It is not a seahorse. Pete feels a tickle. What could it be? Pete turns. He sees a cave. Is there a seahorse inside? Pete sees a crab with claws. A seahorse does not have claws, Pete thinks. The cave is getting darker. Pete feels a tickle. Then he sees an eel. Pete swims past it. It is too long to be a seahorse. Oh no, it's too dark to see. How will Pete get out? Pete sees a jellyfish. It glows in the dark. Pete is almost out of the cave. He sees an angelfish. It is very calm. Colorful. Pete is out of the cave. So why is it so dark? Pete is in the shadow. He is in the shadow of a whale. Yikes! Oh no. Pete wishes he could jump on the seahorse and ride away. Pete hops on a sea turtle instead. It takes him to the boat. I did not see a seahorse, thinks Pete. He feels a tickle on his tail. A seahorse, cries Pete. What a surprise! You were with me all along, says Pete. What a cool adventure. Disconnected. And that is the end of our book for today and of our FitLit program. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining us today for our FitLit program. You all have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you Monday again for FitLit at 1030. Have a great day. Bye.